this first show, I'll be looking at the just released Kex EM1 digital light meter. Now I've been looking for a light meter solution for my meterless film cameras for a very long time and have been eyeing out the excellent Voigtlander VC2. Now I know it's a good piece of kit, but it's rather pricey at nearly 250 pounds. I was about to buy the VC2 when I stumbled across Keck on Instagram. They seemed to promise me the world with their new EM1 light meter. I couldn't find too much info on the company, but the product looked good and the website pretty decent. $100 for what it promised seemed fair. I didn't want to have to wait for the corona-induced slow shipping I would endure, so I sourced one from the lovely people at the Latent Image in the UK. It cost more, but it was in stock and they delivered it very quickly. Now, what we have here is the nice presentation box that comes in. It's got some instructions over there and how to use it. Um, a charging cable, that's USB-C, um, and the actual meter itself is um, made very well, um, aluminium. Um, and what I really like about it is the, the hot shoe, which you can move. It comes with a, a little Allen key, um, an extra plastic hot shoe mounts. I'm a little disappointed that these are made out of plastic. Uh, it would have been nicer for them to match the aluminium of the actual unit itself, but it's not a deal breaker. And they do give you extra ones in case they break. And then the biggest issue really is the display, which is is on the side here rather than at the top. You do find them on eBay, the digital display on the top, but that doesn't really make any sense when, you, when you're metering. So having the, the readout here is an eye level and that makes a lot of sense. So if I push this um, over here, then it will actually give a, a meter reading. And you can see if I go a bit closer, uh, there we go, something like that. But if I push on the left hand side here, that's going to change my f stop. So f2, 2 .5, 2 2.5, 2.8, 3, choose f8, and I need a shutter speed of 1 25th. And if I want to change my shutter speed, I go to this side, side there, and I can change my shutter speed, and that's going to give me the f stop. I can also change my ISO by holding on this button here and clicking on the other side. There's my ISO changing 1000, 1600. I'll go back down to 400 because that's where I like to shoot my film. And um, very, very simple little little tool, but very, very effective. It, it ticks all the boxes really. Um, the charging port over there and uh, very light. That's the other thing. When you compare it to um, to this um, old MC meter. I like MC meter. I have a, a more modern version. This one makes the battery. This is the uh, MR meter. Um, you know, size-wise, it's this is probably you know, half the weight of this. Um, but size-wise, you can just see what a big difference that makes. Let's slot this in here, and it's actually already at the right position, and you can see. How, how flush that sits, you know, if I want to take a meter reading, there we go. So we have the old and the new all in the same place. And from the front, that looks pretty snazzy really. It matches the camera, um, matches the lines. And overall, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this. I also tried on my, my 3G see how that works that looks really really good as well from the back you can see I mean, that looks really good right, I've come outside just to check how well this will fare in bright sunlight and um, I'm going to just push the, uh, the button there and you can see it's actually pretty legible I don't think there's going to be any issues um, trying to see anything outside. That flickering that's there, that's that's just the um, the camera that I'm using. It can't keep up with the refresh rate of the OLED screen. But um, I don't see it being an issue at all. It's very bright, easy to see, and um, in bright sunlight, well, there we go. Job done. What I want to 
wanted to do now was do a really unscientific test on how accurate the, the meter is. Um, and I'm going to base it off a reading I get off this Nikon F100, which has a very good meter and I've trusted it for many years. Uh, it uses matrix metering, which is quite sophisticated. Um, you get a reading there, F2.8 at 800. Put that aside. And then this one. Yeah, hopefully the same position. Hold that down. And I've got f2.8 at 800. I'll just try that again, change it and let's point it and hold that down and we have f2.8 at 800. So that seems to give me the same result which is really good. Having this now is certainly going to make photography a lot easier and I can't wait to get back onto the streets and um, put it into practice.